What's up everybody? Go Burns here and Janine is taking me up to Chumash to kick off my birthday week. Oh yeah, that's how she treats me. She treats me right. Hey Janine, we need to stop over here. I need a beverage. <laughs> Come on Janine, I'm thirsty <laughs> for crying out loud. Hey Janine, look, a flea market. You can even get some uh, nipple rings. <laughs> Simeon, fuck off. Today's my day off. It's my birthday week for crying out loud. I'm not stealing a car for you today. Maybe tomorrow. I kind of need the money. <laughs> so, yeah, it occurred to me as I was looking at the map, places I have yet to take the tank in Janine, one of which is the lovely coastal town of Chumash off the Great Ocean Highway. They also call it the G-O-H, or uh, what, Highway 1. So we're going to go in here to the plaza. Janine's going to get a nice little sexy uh, tramp stamp. And, oh, yeah. Ah, shit. <laughs> Looks like they're kind of booked over there. Let's just uh, head on out of the, the Chumash Plaza. Oh, shit. Oh, Janine, what did you do? <laughs> you turned that poor saw into a pancake. <laughs> oh, you know what that means. The fuzz are a coming. All right, Janine. Let's uh, try and head down to the beach. Maybe we can evade the popo, the 5 -0, the one time. And I think I rented out one of these uh, beach houses. Didn't we, Janine? I think so. Uh, which one was it? <laughs> the one with the uh, broken down car back there, probably. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Alright, so maybe we should just head back to Los Santos. Maybe this wasn't a good idea, Janine. Maybe we should just celebrate back at the uh, apartment. Oh, crap. The fuzz have arrived. Which means, yes, it's go time. <laughs> As with tradition on Tank Misadventures Mondays, we hide behind this bush. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> For some reason. I think it's too late, especially since we just blew up one of the uh, cop cars. Disclaimer. Do not blow up cop cars with a tank, and do not drink and drive, especially when you're operating a tank. It's not a good idea. And you can get in trouble for it. And you put people's lives at risk, and you don't want to do that, do you? No. Absolutely. So, anyways, yes, I'm not joking, I'm not kidding. It actually is my birthday week, FYI. What'd you get me? Money? Or did you get me money? Or hookers? <laughs> money or hookers, baby! That's all I need! <laughs> actually, I only need hookers. I'll take the hookers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All I need is Janine. That's all I need. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're having a good week, kicking things off the right way. And it looks like we're about, what, a week away from a, a big, giant DLC coming our way. You know, personally, I know I've said this before, I feel like a broken record. I would personally prefer us getting a new DLC tomorrow, the day before my birthday, and hit Rockstar. But that's okay. It's all good. Better late than ever. I will take the uh, Heist Holiday DLC on... December 23rd, a.k.a. Festivus for the rest of us. If you're not a Seinfeld fan, you probably don't get it, so I do apologize. Actually, I do not apologize, because Seinfeld is one of the greatest sitcoms of all time, and I know it's old for some of you that are my fans, my viewers, my subscribers, but it's still one of the best uh, sitcoms that ever existed. And if you have a network that happens to carry Seinfeld, you should watch it. It really is funny. Even though it is basically a show about nothing. It's just hilarious. <laughs> but I'll tell you something. What's not funny is what's been happening over the past few days. Now, as a lot of you know, I've been uh, making some videos regarding leaks carried out by what uh, Neil X Mods. And they found a lot of information concerning the upcoming DLC that Rockstar is possibly going to be releasing on the 23rd concerning both heist and holiday. It's going to be one big DLC according to Neil X Mods. And as a result, not only is Rockstar going after Neil X Mods via their Grand Theft Auto Online accounts, they also went after a couple of YouTubers, including Dom is Live. Now, I hope that they all are able to get their situations resolved. And maybe they've done so already. I don't know, to be honest, because... Well, this was the uh, family Christmas weekend, and I come from a very huge family. I have like a dozen, I kid you not, a dozen 
aunts and uncles, which means I have like a bazillion cousins, and a lot of them already have kids of their own. So our Christmas party is usually a pretty big deal. <laughs> so I've been kind of busy with that. You know, Friday night I went out to eat with some of my family members at a nice little Mexican joint in town. And of course, Saturday night, it was just a you know, jam-packed family fun at my grandma's house. So it's been kind of a busy weekend. Plus, like I mentioned, it is my birthday week as I uh, blow these uh, cop helicopters to ribbons heading up the hill. <laughs> I got five stars. That is so epic. But hopefully, like I mentioned, I hope Dom is live and the other YouTubers including Neil X Mods, get their uh, situation resolved with uh, YouTube, PlayStation, and whoever else happened to ban them over uh, the information that was leaked regarding both the holiday DLC information and heists. Of course, yes, I did do videos on my channel. Now, normally, I do shy away from leaks because, as I mentioned a few, a few days ago, nine times out of ten, as you well know and I well know, these leaks turn out to be... BS. They turn out to be hoaxes, false crap. So I do not jump the gun per se when it comes to uh, leaked information. I always like to try and go confirm it. And most of the time, whenever it's a photo, it's usually a joke. But there is legitimate leaked information out there revolved around coding. And Neil X Moz obviously has a very good track record. So yes, I've been doing videos. You know, based on the information they have been putting out there via their Twitter account and, of course, their forum page. And, unfortunately, other YouTubers, much bigger YouTubers, have apparently, I don't know if this is the case, paid the price by having their channels terminated. Now, it could have been another reason. I don't know, to be honest. Some say it was because of false tags. I don't know. I try to be legitimate when it comes to my tags. I try to tag correct information. I do my best. And... I try not to post leaks like I mentioned unless I can pretty much go to a source that is very reliable, has good street cred, and there's viable information to back it up. So, But most of the time I try to put out original content of my own. I don't want to be like anybody else, I just want to be like me. And you know that hurts me probably because I know a lot of channels that have exploded because they specialized in, well, money glitches or hacking glitches. And I just don't do that on my channel. I mean, yeah, I'll do this every Monday, ride around in a tank and blow up cop cars and helicopters and cops to ribbons. It's only a video game. It's not real. <laughs> Rolling down the hill. What the fuck? I'm in a tree! <laughs> what the hell? The tank's in a tree. <laughs> Janine! She's in a tree. Oh, my poor trans character. She's stuck in a tree. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I don't even know if I can get out of the damn tree. Come on, Janine. You can do it. <laughs> uh, all right. She's out. That was hilarious. But I realized that, yeah, my channel could be, like, way bigger if I would have post cheats and uh, glitches and hacks. But I'm not that kind of person, okay? I want to grow my channel, obviously. I would love to have a thousand views uh, per video. I would love to have a thousand subscribers. I'd love to have a hundred thousand. I'd love to have a bazillion subscribers. But I'm not willing to sacrifice what few morals I have left. And yes, I do post some information, some content similar to other YouTubers like leaked information every now and then and of course newswire info directly from rockstar but for the most part i try to do things my way as frank sinatra once said and for better or worse i am committed to that cause as we approach devin weston's house as i try and blow his house to bits i just i have a certain sense of morality okay and yeah i just don't like doing things that some other youtubers have done like glitches and hacks and whatnot. And I always try and create my own original content, whether uh, 10 people end up enjoying it or 100 people. Hopefully down the road, way more people will be able to enjoy what content I've been putting out since March of 2013. And for those of you that have been viewing my stuff and subscribed to my channel, I thank you humbly for uh, your support. It really does mean a lot to me. And I mean, I, I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for you guys. I'm approaching 300 subscribers and a lot of people would be like, oh, you know, it sucks you're not at a thousand. I concur. I wish I was. I wish I was 
you know, at 100,000. I wish I was at 100 million, but it's just the way it is. And you just got to take it with uh, a grain of salt. You have to be happy with what you have. I'm doing uh, nearly 300 times better than when I started the channel. So there's that. And I'm mainly doing this because I want to kill off Devin Weston and, and try and save Molly before, uh, well, anyways, I couldn't save her. <laughs> I couldn't save Molly! <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tony from Adventures Monday. If you did, hit the like button. And if uh, you wish to wish me a happy birthday coming up in a few days, hit the like button as well. And if you wish to really, really wish me a happy birthday, hit that subscribe button. It will be an awesome birthday present for me. Each and every subscription really does help my channel grow. Plus, I do post awesome content seven days a week. So you are getting your money's worth. <laughs> for whatever that's worth. Have a great week, and as always, thanks for watching.